This story has a very happy ending with a beautiful moment from Elon Musk and his family, but it didn't start out so happy. At the beginning of this week, we were seeing hate levels going up for Elon Musk. A lot of it wasn't even really justified in my opinion. People posted memes like this, Bitcoiners, Elon Musk, they're closing the door on him saying goodbye. Also articles like this coming out from News 18, Elon Musk's tweets about cryptocurrency including Bitcoin are getting noticed for the negative impact they've had on the values which hurt investors too but they're forgetting the fact that Elon Musk, Tesla, they are the only major company currently holding Bitcoin. Bitcoin would have likely already gone down significantly lower than where it is currently if Tesla had never invested in the first place. So they're forgetting all of those things, but that's one thing. When you're posting memes, when you're having fun and poking fun, okay, there we go, you can do that. But when you're starting to make it personal and starting to come after him about things that aren't even true, making up things about his history and making up things about who he is and what he does, that's where I think we really need to send a message to those people. Those haters are the small minority of of people and the vast majority still continue to love and support Elon. So I was thinking the other day, what can we do to send a message to the world? I was thinking about Elon Musk's family, how his mom was probably pretty upset seeing that video come out and how she was probably pretty upset watching people go after Elon in that personal way. Elon Musk, maybe it was getting to him a little bit too, I don't know. Hopefully it wasn't, but I would not be surprised at all because if I was Elon, that would definitely start to get to me a little bit. Seeing that many people saying things that aren't even true about you and seeing the public perception of you changing a little bit but not even that much. And that was really the message we wanted to send to people, that we still had his back, that we still supported him. I was thinking, what if we do a billboard? What if we do something like that? No, that's not big enough. What we need is to send a message to the entire world on social media. So I came up with the idea, let's do the hashtag, hashtag we love you Elon. So I tweeted out, goal, get as many people as possible to tweet hashtag we love you Elon at 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight. Time to send a message to Elon Musk and the world that we have his back. And the reason why I chose 8 p.m. Eastern time specifically is because that is the exact time that the Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul fight started. And I wanted to show that even during something like that, when a lot of people were talking about Floyd and Logan and all the dramatic stuff around that, that we could still get it to the top. And also because at that exact point in time, there would be way more people looking at Twitter. Our campaign reached so far that pretty much every single person on Twitter who was on at that time probably saw it. It was trending on the For You page for a lot of people. Number one in trending in a lot of countries, all the way up as high as number four in trending in the US, even during the Floyd versus Logan fight. So that's pretty dang incredible on space. This is where it really starts to get special though. Elon Musk's mom saw the hashtag trending on Twitter and tweeted this out. So happy, hashtag we love you Elon is trending. Hope he has this huge smile on his face right now, posting a picture of the smile. Then also saying this world is on his shoulders, also Mars, at Elon Musk, hashtag proud mom. That's pretty cool to see. And we also saw Elon Musk's sister coming in saying hashtag we love you Elon, proud sister, as did a ton of major celebrities and big influencers across the internet. A lot of people showing love for Elon. If you are wondering how much though that this meant to Elon Musk's family, you look no further than the likes from May Musk, Elon's mom. She liked pretty much every single tweet she could find with hashtag we love you Elon. Hundreds and hundreds of tweets that she liked, going through all of them, seeing all of our nice messages to Elon, seeing all of the positive things we said. She also went and liked my tweets that I made about this. And then not just that, she went and clicked on them, then liked every single tweet underneath that said hashtag that she could find. Just all of the love I think meant a lot to her, hopefully. This was definitely a special moment, the fact that we were able to come together as a community and show so much love for Elon, who's had our back since the beginning. I'm not just talking about the Dogecoin community. Elon has had our back as the world, continuing to work extremely hard and move things forward. I want to go to Mars. I want to see the world get better. I want to see my dad walk for the first time in 30 years using Neuralink. I want to see all these incredible things happen that Elon Musk is working on. I would not be surprised at all if this week was starting to get to Elon a little bit. If this week was starting to maybe discourage him from some of the work he's doing, discourage him from tweeting and having fun. We all rallied together and did a fantastic job of showing Elon Musk that he does not have to be discouraged, that those small amount of haters are just that, a small amount, and the vast majority is love, so much so to the point where we can get on the top of a trending page, even during one of the biggest events of the year. Elon Musk articles like this as well coming out. Elon Musk's mom gushing over his son on Twitter comes at a curious time for the billionaire, but that article was all positive stuff in the article, which was great to see this one as well. We love you Elon trends on US Twitter as Elon Musk's Dogecoin fans look to counter Bitcoin critics. Yes, this was in part a Dogecoin thing, but it was significantly bigger than that. It was not just Dogecoin people tweeting about this. It was just people showing love for Elon and people all across the internet and Elon Musk responding as well, which I thought was pretty dang cool to a number of people using the hashtag, we love you Elon. Elon here with hearts. That was the first response he did. Then Elon Musk also replied to this tweet from me where I said, hashtag we love you Elon. Now number 
eight on the main trending page. Thank you, Elon Musk, for all you do. Elon Musk responded just simply saying, wow, thanks. And that right there really hits it home. Elon gets it now. He understands that those haters are the small percentage of people. And maybe he already knew that before, or maybe he didn't. Regardless, I just think it's awesome what we're able to do. We now have the ability to impact the world. Anytime we want to send a message out to the world, we can do that. Not just to the people in the community, but to the people outside the community. Anything we want to say, this is what comes with hard work. This is what comes from pressing like and sharing and retweeting and doing all those things that we're continuing to do as a community. We are getting stronger. We are continuing to grow. And this right here just continues to show that. So thank you, Elon Musk, for all you're doing. If you're watching, thank you for continuing to hang in there, even though sometimes it can be a bit discouraging to see some of the hate. But just remember, we have your back against those haters, and we are going to continue to show them that they are the small minority of people, and the vast majority is love. And that's the way it should be. So make sure you come join this channel, subscribe with notifications on if you'd like to stay updated in real time on cryptocurrency, Dogecoin, Elon Musk, all the important stuff that's happening in the world. And we have a lot of fun talking about it. So come join the channel. I'm Matt Wallace. This is Final Stand, and I will see you in the next video.